Hello everyone, welcome to the session. Today we are going to see entropy measurement. Entropy measurement. Here, So we always measure, you must remember, we always measure the change in entropy. We always measure the change in entropy, you must remember, if dqb infinitesimal, if dqb infinitesimal amount of heat taken or rejected at temperature T. Okay, you must remember. The change in entropy, the change in entropy given by ds equal to dq by t, ds equal to dq by t, when, when the substance passes from state A to B, A to B, then the change of entropy is given by Sb minus Sa equal to integral A to B dq by capital T. Okay. <clears throat> now that can be written as delta S equal to A to B dq by T. Right. If states A and B are infinitesimal, infinitesimally, if state A and B are infinitesimally close to each other, close to each other, let dQ is the amount of heat, amount of heat observed or, or rejected at a temperature T, rejected at a temperature T, then, then the change in entropy, then the change in entropy is given by it can be written as change in entropy, it can be written as ds equal to dq by t. Therefore, this can also be written as dq equal to t into ds. So, what this equation represents, we know that thermodynamic second law, yes, dq is equal to du plus pdv. Just like here it is dq equal to tds. So, this is what uh, second law of thermodynamics in terms of entropy. This equation represents second law of thermodynamics in terms of entropy. dq equal to Tds, right? dq equal to Tds. Now, so entropy remains constant. Entropy remains constant in a reversible cycle or reversible process, whatever it may be, but, but which increases, which increases in an irreversible, irreversible process. Now, so let us see one more topic here, Clausius, 
Clausius theorem. Clausius theorem. Or else, we can write this one as change in change of entropy in reversible change of entropy in a reversible process okay change of entropy in a reversible process so let us see for this let us take pv diagram already we know that pv diagram which contain four curves clo closed curve see there pv where and uh, where represents a b c d points so that is what that line a b represents iso thermal expansion line this is what adiabatic uh, expansion line this is what adiabatic compression this is what isothermal compression line okay so we have four curves right and um, here the first point is so this can also be we can say that corner cycle if it has two see that the picture contain two isothermal and two adiabatic two adiabatic process right processes here curve contain okay now first point during the isothermal expansion we know that what happened during the isothermal expansion during the isothermal expansion that means ab it represents ab line the work the working substance the working substance takes q1 amount of heat q1 amount of heat from the source from the source at at constant temperature at constant temperature t1 understand so in this process according to thermodynamic second law in terms of entropy can be written as can be written as we know that uh, in this process what happen entropy increases right sir? obviously therefore increase in entropy of working substance is is here we can write uh, entropy change in entropy can be written as s s i e where i e represents isothermal expansion okay s equal to q1 by t1 q1 by t1 according to entropy formula s is equal to q1 by t1 that represents equation 1 and during the adiabatic expansion during the adiabatic expansion during the adiabatic expansion it represents bc curve no heat is taken in or given up right during the adiabatic expansion no heat is taken in or given up hence 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 change in entropy change in entropy is zero change in entropy is zero next third point third case during the isothermal compression you know that what happened during the isothermal compression right i so during the isothermal compression it represents a cd curve the working substance the working substance rejects rejects a quantity of heat q2 at a temperature t2 right at temperature t2 
so similarly from equation 1 this can also be written as s i c isothermal compression equal to q2 by t2 that is equation number 2 next fourth stage during adiabatic compression during adiabatic compression da there is no change in entropy entropy therefore therefore the net change in entropy can be written as the net change in entropy of working substance working substance in in the cycle a b c d a is written as is written as are given by delta s is equal to s i e minus s i c that is equal to q1 by t1 minus q2 by t2 so but uh, you know very well according to kelvin scale according to kelvin scale according to kelvin scale q1 by t1 equal to q2 by t2 right so therefore what happen here if you take q1 by t1 equal to q2 by t2 delta s equal to zero so that means what it represents so change in entropy is zero in reversible process that means delta s equal to integral dq by dt equal to zero so in reversible process change in entropy is zero that means there is no change in entropy okay that is absolutely in reversible process change in entropy is equal to zero change in entropy in in carnot's reversible in carnot's reversible cycle is zero okay so you have to remember and write down in the notebook clearly right let us move on to another topic here another topic so that is what uh, here is change in change in entropy in an irreversible in an irreversible cycle irreversible cycle okay so let us see what we have to do here so let let us suppose suppose that in a simple in a simple irreversible irreversible cycle cycle q1 is the quantity of heat the quantity of heat heat observed at temperature temperature t1 and q2 be the quantity of heat quantity of heat rejected at a temperature t2 at a temperature t2 t2 then the efficiency of then the efficiency of the 
then the efficiency of this cycle is given by this cycle is given by n irreversible equal to 1 minus q2 by q1 we know this one efficiency of engine nir equal to 1 minus q2 by q1 the efficiency of a reversible carnot's cycle cycle we know very well this one is given by nr nr is nothing but reversible 1 minus q2 by q1 that equal to 1 minus t2 by t1 we know very well this one already we proved but we know that n ir is less than nr we know very well efficiency of irreversible engine is always less than the efficiency of reversible engine so therefore 1 minus q2 by q1 is less than 1 minus t2 by t1 of course so from this one q2 by q1 is greater than t2 by t1 this can also be written as q2 by q1 is greater than t2 by t1 so from that point q2 by t2 greater than q1 by t1 q2 by t2 is greater than q1 by t1 so where q2 by t2 minus q1 by t1 greater than 0 greater than 0 that means what if it is greater than 0 that is what positive value right positive value so hence hence the entropy of the system increases in all irreversible all irreversible process okay because t1 is greater than t2 because t1 is greater than t2 right so let us see few examples the examples for irreversible of irreversible process irreversible process let us see first one conduction of heat so conduction of heat that is also irreversible process and uh, diffusion of gas and the third one is radiation of heat radiation of heat fourth one production of heat by friction production of heat by friction and the fifth one is flow of flow of electricity flow of electricity in conductor in conduct these are the examples for irreversible process okay thank you